Sagittarius, what is going on, my dears? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot back at it again to let you know what is going on with you for the month of February 2019. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So sorry for the late upload. As some of you guys know, that me and my family we were all sick with the flu, so that just got me a little bit behind. But of course, I am here for you. Shout out to everyone that's given me and my family well wishes and um, you know, good luck prayers and um speedy recovery prayers i mean um and also um as you guys know i have several new decks here and i'm also recording on a brand new camcorder as you can see my phone is sitting over there so shout out to everyone who has um booked personal and private readings and um who has given love donation to contribute to um the progression of the page thank you so much um if anyone would like to book a personal or private reading you can do so by clicking the about tab on my youtube page there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again that's scorpion reds tarot as simply book me all right and if you would like to give a love donation if this video resonates you can do so by clicking the paypal hyperlink in the description okay so Sagittarius, let's get into the prayer and let's start your reading, all right? So, dear Lord, I feel like right now the sign of Sagittarius um, is, you know, almost on this withdrawn isolation period in their life. Um, they are just feeling like they need to work on... Um, being more self-guided and working on their intuition and um, I feel like they're rebuilding their self um, they're in a place of rebuilding and I also feel like um, the sign of Sagittarius is having a certain level of success in their life right now um, because they are being a lot more withdrawn and a lot more independent and I think with them doing that a lot of doors have opened up for the sign of Sagittarius so I feel like, um, whereas though it might be a painful, it's like bittersweet almost because it's just like, even though I didn't want to have to like isolate myself and, you know, do what I had to do, but it's just like my life is just really going onward and upward and it's like a bittersweet rejoicing right now because it's just like things like I feel right now the sign of Sagittarius that will of fortune has turned in y'all favor and like y'all are seeing it in a tangible way like things in your life is changing and I feel like y'all are very happy but still somewhat attached to something from the past and it's like this full success and happiness is coming and it's like they realize that they really have to let it go. So, like I said, it's like a bittersweet rejoicing and kind of pain type of thing. And, Father, um, can you please give the sign of uh, Sagittarius guidance through this new beginning? Because it's, it's like, you know, gosh, it is so hard sometimes when it's just like everything is going so right in your life. And it's just like, it's this one element that just can't seem to get itself together and it was like you you could be fully happy if just like everything would just kind of you know work with each other here and father god just please give the sign of sagittarius just steps and guidance and allow them to continue to be encouraged and just be thankful and happy for everything that they have right now at this current moment because i mean like they've really like they have a lot to be happy for and um love and all of that stuff is going to come it's going to come just please give the sign of sagittarius you know just some strength and just to be happy and rejoice for what they currently have because like this is new beginnings and new beginnings is going to feel strange it's going to feel different you know it, it is and sometimes when something is so different, you, you do look at the past and you just be like, man, you know, I wish this, this, and that. But just learn to enjoy this new beginning, you know. Break it in, like, really take take over, like, take over and do your thing. So, dear Lord, please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance in the month of February in 2019. Thank you so much. 
Oh, look. I'm sorry. Honey, let me just tell you real quick. Miss Pepsi. <clears throat> girl, she be doing me, girl. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Mm -mm. I don't know what the hell they be putting in some Pepsi, honey. Mm. Miss Pepsi. God. Please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance. Yes, sir. So... Let's see. Ooh. I seen that ten of cups in there. Let's see if that thing still pop out. And let me think. When I was pre-shuffling, I did see the high priestess card pop out. So that is like something like being as a female being withdrawn and you know like really just rebuilding herself and just working on her inner guidance and her inner intuition and things like that. And um really being self-guided, studying, learning, the moon. There you go the high priestess right there at that moon. Mm-hmm. Success. It's like Sagittarius is just listen. And I believe the moon card represents the sign of Pisces, the lovers. And look, I'm trying to tell you, y'all got, y'all got a lot of blessings coming to y'all. Like, y'all's life is just really popping off. It's just doing a lot of major things right now. And um, I just feel like, like I said, you guys are scared about this newness because y'all have never felt it before. Y'all have never been here before. Y'all have never been here before. But you about to be successful in love, honey. You got a brand new development. Brand new beginning, honey, coming to you. I think that's it. That's all, honey. All right, this is that moon card. Like I said, that represents a Pisces. So there may be a Pisces in your atmosphere. But... All the secrets and things that might have been held back in relationship to the past. I feel like through this time of you just being withdrawn into yourself, you've discovered a lot of secrets that have been withheld from you. Because as you can see, that is the high priestess. Do you see her? Do you see her walking towards the moon? So it's like that's the high priestess literally facing the secrets. And you see the two towers on the other side? So that's just like the foundation that you've built and the foundation of the person that you're with. And it's just she is literally walking to the moon and just like, look, let me call out and deal with the secrets and deal with whatever past transgressions has happened on both ends let me face this let me address it let me deal with it so don't nobody got nothing to hide anymore because at the end of the day i have to move forward i can't focus on the past anymore because it's holding back my future and that is the high priestess really coming to face the moon coming to face the secrets coming her intuition guided her to this to this river to this lake her intuition guided her here and it's like i gotta face i have to face these fears whatever this bullshit is that's holding me back because i can't go back to those towers that you see those towers she left that shit behind she left those foundations behind I can't be fearful about what's ahead of me. The only thing that's holding me back, that's keeping me stagnated, is me dealing with this shit from the past. So I already don't walk away with the past. Let me deal with the secrets. Let me deal with all of the bullshit that needs to be addressed so I can move forward. So this is the high priestess following her intuition following her intuition where she's dealing with whatever bullshit is holding her back where she can 
move forward in life and not letting the fears of the future stagnate her anymore. This person wants to be successful. This person wants to be acknowledged. This person wants victory. And this person is going to be victorious. You know? And as you can see, this person is being, you know, almost like worshipped by somebody. I feel like there's a new situation in love, as you can see, where someone is about to come into your life, Sagittarius. Somebody that is like a soulmate. And a lot of people, I keep trying to tell people, y'all think that this person that y'all left, y'all think that this person was your soulmate. And you had to go through so much self like, you had to dig deep within yourself and think about a lot of stuff that went through you went through in this relationship and why you held on for so long and you really thought that this was your soulmate only to leave this shit, deal with those emotions, move forward, meet somebody that really is giving you that acknowledgement and that praise and giving you that same passion and that desire that you were given that relationship in the past and you just like hold on like damn I ain't never had nobody kind of just like come through and make me feel so good like this like this person loves me almost more than I love them this is a brand new solid beginning in love. In love. And I feel like this person is so just enthralled in this relationship and so in love with you. Like this person is really kind of like shouting out to the world just like how amazing you are, how beautiful you are. You know, and for the male Sagittarius, this is how strong you are. Look at how this woman is just like. You were like one of the strongest, most sexiest. Just I just I've never seen. I've never been around a man like you in my life. Like this woman is just like astonished at your just your grace and just you know. This person that's coming into your life. I mean, this person is really really enamored by you. And this person wants to come and offer you like true solid love and brand new beginnings in love brand new solid beginnings in love and i feel for sure like this energy of this person in the past this is definitely someone that was in your past this king of wands i feel like this is possibly someone from your past that It's just not present in your life anymore. I feel like this is someone that you left. Okay? And I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more information about this King of Wands. Because this is a wand energy right here. But the King of Wands energy, like he's not necessarily someone that is around for the long haul and things like that. He's not... He's just not someone that you would really think someone is coming around giving you a solid foundation and love. So, Spirit, please give me some additional guidance in regards to who this King of Wands is. Thank you so much. Because that's just like, I mean, yes, this is Wand energy right here. But I just want to make sure that I'm thoroughly understanding. A hermit. This is someone that's ready to come out. And come for that queen of wands. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that. Okay. So, like I said, you went through your own transition. You coming into your own intuition. You're single. You're solitude. Because like I said, even in the pre-shuffle, 
uh, the energy of the high priestess fell out. Okay? So that's someone that is being withdrawn from love because she's going through her own self-discovery right now. She's dealing with her shit from the past. Okay? So that's that. Like I said, someone is rushing forward. And you are getting advances from a lot of people. And you are going to be victorious in love. Something where you're going to be acknowledged. Something that is going to be around forever. That is some soulmate energy here. And it's brand new beginnings. Okay? It's being offered to you. And it looks like it's being offered to you from a king of wands. This might be someone that you know from your past, but this is not this past lover that you just left. I feel like the past lover that you just left, this is like the Pisces card, okay? So I feel like the person that you just left and then the lovers, that's a Gemini. So I'm feeling like And I, and I definitely feel like with the Gemini, with the lovers being representative of the Gemini, I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication between you two. And I feel like this person might be someone from your past that you looked at as a player. I feel like this might be someone that you knew in your past and this might be someone that you thought was a player. Someone that you never really looked at could really be your king. But I feel like this person has kept himself withdrawn and held back from you, especially because you were dealing with this stuff of, you know, you going through your own transition and dealing with this breakup from your old relationship, okay? So this person is finally, like, coming out of hiding, and I feel like they have worked past this king of wands, um... In the reverse energy, I feel like they are, this person in the hermit, they recognize that they were being a player. They recognize that in this energy, they really couldn't come through and offer something solid because they are too flighty. And that's why they took their self back and they never really offered their self to this situation with Sagittarius. And now they finally got that wisdom because this snake on this staff here represents wisdom. They finally got that wisdom and they went through their own transition and now they're ready to finally come out and communicate. And they want the affection of this king of this queen of wands and this queen of wands represents the sign of Sagittarius. Okay? So this person I feel like has gone within and is trying to change their energy and wants to come out and represent their self in a deeper way um so let's get some additional guidance in regards to this new love situation now i'm sorry if that if i, if I had to keep like <laughs> you know repeating myself because i just wanted to make sure that i didn't confuse y'all because it was a little bit confusing to me because it's just like, I can't see nobody having no new solid beginnings with no king of wands in reverse. Like, a king of wands in reverse is a fucking asshole. What is going on with my... Anyway, y'all, I'm so sorry. Please give me guidance for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you. Some music. Please give me guidance for the sign of Sagittarius. In love, thank you. The answer is yes. The victim. The answer is just about what? Awakening. like cycles what is this regret and divine timing alright so listen this is what I'm getting here so 
in regards to this new relationship that is coming into your life, whatever you've been thinking about it, I feel like you've met someone and this might be someone, like I said, this might be someone else that you just might have known casually from your past or something. Someone that you've never really kind of looked at in a romantic way. And I feel like this person really wants you to change your perspective on him. And he looks at you like you're his queen. Like, you know, he sees you being this queen in his life. Do you understand what I'm saying? And he definitely sees you as a soulmate but I feel like he's he is in a point where he is continuing to work on himself but he's ready to come out of hiding and you know make some advances towards you okay and if you were thinking if it was a good idea to deal with this king of wands in reverse um with this hermit in reverse energy the answer is yes it's a good idea. However, don't be a victim to no bullshit. I feel like you are at a certain awakening in your life. And you're trying to stop negative cycles. So, don't get into any situation that you're going to regret. Okay? If this situation with this King of Wands in reverse does not feel right to you if you feel like you know the timing isn't right on this still like this person still needs to work on something with himself you need to understand look the divine timing ain't right and that's what it seems like it's saying to me all right it seems like it's saying something to me about a situation with someone where there's some divine timing not right and i do understand it's saying the answer is yes. So maybe they are saying that the answer is yes. Don't be a victim in this situation with this person here. This person right here isn't ready. Even though this person wants to come out and wants to try to confront you and wants to, you know, get something started with you. I don't feel like this person is ready. And maybe this is your, your ex. Maybe this is your ex, but I'm just really hoping that that's not that energy. Please give me some additional guidance on. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I'm just really nosy because I feel like they are saying the answer is yes. Like, whatever you were thinking about this person from your past. And I'm not taking it that this, like, I'm, I keep saying I'm not taking it that this person is like your ex, ex, the one that you just left. This is not your ex, ex. This is somebody else that you know casually. And this person has been giving you a lot of attention. And you feel like that this could be your soulmate here. And there is seven of swords. Hmm. Give me some more guidance in regards to the Seven of Swords, please. With this King of Wands. That's all you want to tell me? This person is being sneaky. This person is going to get caught. Alright, listen. Alright. So listen. Alright. Let me break this down like this. I feel like now all of this is coming out, it's making a little bit more sense to me. I feel like the sign of Sagittarius has been withdrawn because they have been guided by their intuition, okay? They've been guided by their intuition to face certain things, certain secrets, certain things in the unknown that they really just didn't have answers to. And that's why I said that that's the high priestess right there. She is using her own tuition and it's gotten her to face the unknown here. All right. And this person, like I said, knows that regardless of what they find, they have to move forward because they can't go back and be dealing with. They, they, they're just not moving backwards in their life. This person has been giving them a lot of attention. OK, it really makes them feel good. And like I said, this it feels like some soulmate energy here. It feels like some new beginnings. But 
I feel like with this person, this person somewhat has a player energy. I feel like this is someone that is someone from your past that you knew casually, but you really didn't know them like that. And I feel like this person finally came out and it's just like, hey, I want to get to know you. And it's being a little bit more forward in their progression of, you know, y'all getting to know each other. And this person does see you as the queen because you are the fire, the fiery queen of wands. But this person is doing something sneaky, as you can see, where he is walking into a trap where he's eventually going to get caught. This person is trying to pull some man mental manipulation games on you. So if you were having any questions in regards to this new beginning with this person that's been giving you a lot of, you know, attention and you felt like this was being your soulmate, but something just kind of wasn't right here. The answer is yes. There is something sneaky going on here. Be careful. Don't end up being a victim in this situation. You've been going through your awakening. You know to follow your intuition, okay? Understand that there are cycles. And there you go. You see that moon again, okay? There are cycles. There's things going on in the background that you don't know. And this might be showing you this is the same cycle of the same bullshit that you just left. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is cycles and you got to understand that you're possibly attracting the same energy because it's something that you need to go back and address in the past. Your intuition is following you to go back and address certain shit. It's certain shit that you need to deal with in the past, okay? Because you're attracting the same type of energy. You're having to repeat as same cycles like the same shit, different toilet. You feel what I'm saying? You're attracting the same type of energy. And I don't want you to get yourself in a new love situation that you're going to regret. Feeling like this is soulmate energy simply because someone is giving you attention right now. Because I feel like with this person, this person is already this person is still... It's th this person is still being deceitful and tricky. This person is still sneaking around and stuff. The timing ain't right for this. Or I don't feel like the divine timing is ever going to work with this situation. Because I don't think... I feel like with everything that um, Sagittarius has been through... You, 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 have to, you have to break this cycle. That's what they're trying to tell you, like... You need to break this cycle. You are at this awakening right now. You need to understand that this is a cycle that you are going through that you need to break. And that you need to stop getting in situations with people that you're going to end up regretting. It's something about you where you keep attracting the wrong type of people. And that's why things ain't work out in this situation. Like, But there is... There is new love coming in your life, though. There is love coming in, in your life. Please give me some additional guidance. Please give me guidance about this new beginning, this new... Give me guidance about this new beginning for Sagittarius. This new beginning in love for Sagittarius. Thank you. Please give me guidance about this new... Beginning in love for Sagittarius for February. Patience. Please keep Sagittarius guidance in love. Separation. Mute. Alright. Alright. So there is going to be a new beginning in love. Or Sagittarius, all right. But first, you gotta have patience. You have to have patience, and you need to separate from this current love situation that you're in. Whatever this, whatever the situation is that you're dealing with right now, this person is is going to get caught eventually. This person is going to get caught eventually. It doesn't matter if this person looks at you like you could be your queen. I, I feel like this person be 
this person be talking a lot of big shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, like, yeah. Like, this person is, like, on some real player. Like, this person is a real smooth talker. You understand? This person is, like, a professional at this shit almost. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're trying to give you this persona that they changed. They're really trying to show you something different. They're trying to come out and just, like, on some conscious level shit. I really do feel like that's what this person is. Whoever this person is, I feel like he's in, like, this, like, maybe conscious circle or some shit like that. And, like, y'all be talking about some real deep, you know mind shit or something like that or whatever and he'd be like yeah queen like every time he talked to you he'd be like yeah queen yeah queen and i really do feel like sometimes when people meet people like that they supposed to be real conscious and real you know all this stuff like that they really don't they use that as a a, a mask almost and it's like you don't even really see if this person is trying to use mental manipulation to trick you and to get you to fall into their trap. You understand? And this person is someone that you just need to, you need to have patience and understand that new love is coming to you. But you need to have a full separation with this person that you're dealing with. And I do feel like there are some of you guys that are still dealing with someone in the past because you're still dealing with secrets and things in the unknown with someone with someone but there is success in new love and new beginnings but you got to deal with this king of wands it's coming this person is trying to come out and trying to present themselves yeah you got to completely mute this person and even though it's going to shatter their pride and their ego, you need to mute this person and you need to separate from this person and you need to have patience if you want true love to come to you. Because right now I feel like you are still dealing with somebody in your life that you should not be dealing with, someone that you know, you know, you didn't had an awakening and you don't realize that this is cycles and that you don't want to be a victim in this situation. And you've been thinking about this shit. And the answer is yes. They're trying to tell you yes. Like this person is being sneaky. And trying to get away with something. That's why you come into the moon. Trying to figure out well, what's going on in the seek in the back in the background that you don't know about. Yeah this person. Is acknowledging me right now. Yeah like I feel like this person is my soulmate. I mean because this is the king of wands and the queen of wands. And I want to have a new beginning with this person. But this person is still giving me this energy like he still got a lot of bullshit with him. No matter the fact that he trying to come out and present himself to me this way. And he trying to tell me I'm his queen. This motherfucker is, getting, is going to get caught. You don't have no patience for it. That's why you separating. And you muting this person. And you're blocking this person. And you're going to shatter this person's pride and ego. Okay? But true love, new love is coming to you. But you're going to have to... You are going to have to get to the point where you don't have no patience with the situation. And you're going to separate and block and mute this person completely out of your life. That's the only That's the only way that true and new love is coming to you. Please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance and regards to what they may be dealing with in the shadows that they need to address in order to move forward and find new love in February. Thank you so much. Please give the sign and Sagittarius guidance. In regards to uh, <clears throat> foolish, yeah, you're being haunted by this old relationship, and I feel like you're being foolish right now. All right, you're stagnating the growth in your life, and you're feeling empty. Goodness gracious, and you feel pain holding on to the situation. Come on, Sagittarius, come on now, come on. Please give Sagittarius some additional guidance. Out the blockages. You're secondary. And this is a, this, this whole situation is childish. 
you're being haunted by this relationship. And now that I am thinking about it, like, it's coming, it's becoming more and more evident to me. Because I really did want to feel like you're addressing certain shit from your past so that you can move forward. Because you realize that you can't stay in that past energy anymore. And you have to address the darkness in order to see the light. Duh, we all know that. And that you are in a new love situation where you're being acknowledged in new beginnings. But then, like I said, it's something about, it was something about that King of Wands that was throwing me off. Because I'm like, ain't no way you having no new beginnings with no King of Wands. Okay? And I feel like, now that I'm looking at, at this shit, I feel like. You went back to the to the moon to to deal with certain shit from your past because you were possibly thinking about starting a new beginning with this ex person because this person is acknowledging you, you now and you feel like this person is your soulmate regardless of the fact that this person is still in this fuckboy energy. It just because this person is coming out. It's trying to give you this oh oh I'm oh I'm super conscious bullshit I've changed I've I got a lot more wisdom and shit now something in your heart told you to not trust this shit and that you felt like this motherfucker was still being slick that's why you were going back trying to deal with some of the shit from now it's making sense to me like y'all and and that's the thing and it's like you know new love and new like you could have a new relationship with your where you're being acknowledged and, and, and you have new solid beginnings with a new soulmate, a true soulmate, but you are holding yourself back with this bullshit with this person from your past. Like I'm sorry, because like sometimes when you get the cards, like you really don't know what's about to come out and it and it makes a little bit more sense when you kinda got everything on the table here. But like now it's like evident to me. The answer is yes. Stop being a victim to this shit. Stop being a victim to this person. Like, this person is feeding you bullshit. This person got around a few per people, watched a few videos on YouTube about being conscious and shit, and they trying to feed you some bullshit, yeah? Stop being, and you know that something deep in your heart is saying, yes, this person is still on the same bullshit. This person is still on the same bullshit. You need to stop being a victim to this shit. You need to have this awakening, okay? And stop and close these cycles with this person. You went to the moon to deal with the darkness and to see the secrets for a fucking reason. Don't go to and waste your time when you see the shit in front of your face okay you need to stop making the same mistakes over and over and over and keep going back thinking that something is going to change this time it is not divine time and it is not time like the timing is not in your favor in regards to this situation okay you need to not have patience and, and continue to deal with that. And I feel like you do have a lack of patience right now. And you are at this point where you're just like, fuck it. I'd rather just goddamn separate. And I'm to the point where I'm just blocking this person out of my life. Because I feel like every time that you allow this person to come into your life, this person keeps coming to you with the same fucking bullshit. Trying to get away. Trying to pull these men mental fucking games with you and shit like that and you just like you know i'm not willing to bid my pride of my ego no more for this situation because this person be trying to play you like you fucking stupid and now i'm getting angry like i'm getting angry this situation this relationship is haunting you and i feel like you're not happy you know that you're being foolish in this situation sagittarius you know it you when you sit back in your house by yourself in your skin this is how you feel and i feel like you smoking and you drinking and you just like why in the fuck do i keep making the same mistakes with this person this person is stagnating my fucking life and you're trying to figure out a way to get away from this person because at the end of the day this person makes you feel empty inside the situation makes you feel empty inside okay and you cannot face the fact that 
you really do deal with pain with this. I feel like sometimes you just break down and fucking cry. Like, why is my life like this? And it's just like, you could change it. You could change this shit. Because this shit is childish. It is childish. And I feel like you're dealing with a very childish person. And you are not this person's fucking mother. Why are you continuing to hold on to a situation where you're secondary? And this person doesn't respect your worth. Why? Come on now. We're not doing that. We're not fucking doing that, yeah. We're not doing that, yeah. And, and it was like I was getting so happy because I'm just like, yes, Sagittarius. Finally being recognized. Finally finding a soulmate. New beginnings. You got to stop this fucking cycle. Like, no, y'all, you know. You got to stop this fucking cycle. Keep thinking that you can go back and address some bullshit in the past and think you're going to get different results. Same shit, different fucking toilet. On a different day. Like, what you talking about? Not only that, but I feel like you have to just change your energy, period, from you got to wash this shit completely out of your fucking life, off of your energy. You're going to continue to attract the same shit in a different toilet. This person that you're dealing with, they come to you and they try to represent themselves like they a different toilet. Like, I've changed. I don't nah, nigga, you ain't changed shit with your fucking drawers. Nigga, and I'm glad that you did that with your dumb ass. The wish at the end of the world. The importance of ends and new beginnings. I'm trying to tell you, bruh. Sagittarius, listen to me. I beg of you, listen to me, yeah. Huh? This person's time is fucking up. This person's time is fucking up. Stop allowing this person to stagnate and haunt your fucking life. That is why you feel stagnated and you feel empty inside. Your life is not even giving you a certain state of fulfillment now. Because you're allowing this bullshit that is giving you pain to haunt your life. Well, you could just separate and mute and block this person. Like, come on. Stop letting this person get away with taking advantage of you. This person be trying to play with you like you fucking stupid. Like you fucking stupid. This person's time is up. It's, it's up, okay? Let me read this. 45. Gosh, like I'm mad now. Let me read this. I don't even feel like holding up the car. Storms fly about her. Electrical whips crack through the heavy air, which bites the fire. Which bites a fire. She sits among them, hugging her hourglass, holding everything together until the force creates the change that has done its work. Okay? When this witch at the end of time of the world makes an appearance in a spread or divination and casting you know that something time has come there can be no more delaying for the change has begun so the best thing for you to do now is prepare for this change find solution to changes that will come up when the change comes you will be fine by the way and all will be well but there will be a time of seeming chaos there, there, there is a time of seeing chaos. I feel like there's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's a continuous fucking cycle. And the answer is yes. This is toxic. Yes, this person is trying to get away with something. Yes, this person is still up to the same shit. That is why you were consulting the moon. That is why you were trying to follow and use your intuition. Okay? The answer is yes. It's the same old fucking bullshit. Same old bullshit. Oh my goodness. He says, you will be fine, by the way. But there will be... Hold on, Lord Jesus. You will be fine, by the way. And all will be well. But there will be a time of seemingly chaos and difficulty. If you were prepared and ready to let go of... To let go and change and let some things in, the witch's countdown will not affect you as it will affect others who refuse to acknowledge that changes are coming and become fearful of their inevitable approach. There is nothing to fear but plenty to prepare for. You will be safe in all well. 
and be very ready to embrace this new world. The witch is the witch of the end of the world speaks. I am not wicked, but I am a witch. And changes are made when the world bends and shifts. I hold an hourglass up to you now. So that you know it is time for an ending. And it's almost up. You can see all the signs all about you. The strange weather, the hurricanes, the cyclones, the earth is changing all about us. But many simply say I am wicked for showing you this. They blame me for what they call catast um, um, catastrophes. And they ignore the signs. They are with you. And it is time to be ready. We are all about to experience a huge change, and it will be for the better. But while we hold on to old things, the storms will blast us, and the land will shift, and self-healing will look like destruction. The True Message Experience an important and significant rearranging of life on a personal and global level, affecting power sources, systems, relationships, change in law, legal system, and economy, and values and beliefs. There may be a need to be able to live more simply and harmonious with nature. There is nothing to be frightened of, only a voyage to whether you will make it through to the other side of the storm. The changes are part of our journey on the fifth dimensional world of this shift for a more peaceful planet where the shadows and the light are loved and accepted. All is well and the little witch will keep the world safe until we reach to the other side of these changes. All is well, all is well, all is well. So, again... I feel like, Sagittarius, you guys are scared of change. You guys are scared of change. And I feel like you guys keep going back and forth, back and forth in the same cycles with this person. Because you're really, truly scared of what the future may hold. And then that is basically what the moon card represents. But it's encouraging you and it's telling you, listen... You see those towers back there? You've already walked away from that foundation. Do you understand? Something already happened in your life. Something abruptly happened that changed the foundation of that relationship already. All right? Something already happened. That's why you were walking towards the moon to get insight and using your own intuition. Do you understand? And facing the secrets and facing the darkness so that you can continue to move forward because you can't go back there no more. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like you need to find out and figure out what insight it is that you need to get from the moon because, I mean, because the time is up for that shit. The time is up for certain shit. Hold on, my battery about to die. Because I know this is the longest video, y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all. Give me one second. So, anyway, and I do apologize for that. Didn't want my video to cut off. Let me just give one quick clarification spread and then we're going to get out of here because I know that this is a long video. Spirit, please give me some guidance for the sign of Sagittarius in regards to that witch at the end of the world, please. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for the sign of Sagittarius, the magician. What? Oh. Needing to let go. <coughs> and the nine of cups. A death card. And it's in the cups. I, I told you. Listen, this is clarifying the witch at the end of the world. Like I told you, it the time is up for this old situation. You just need to let it go because you are stagnating your new beginnings. Okay? 
Don't go to face the moon and continue to recycle the same bullshit. You are the magician right now. You have all of the resources and everything that you have. And you are number one. You see that number? You are number one. Only thing that you need is your fucking self. You have all of the tools and all of the resources that the world and the universe can give you. That you can manifest and create anything in your life that you goddamn want. You have to turn your back on certain things that no longer have value in your life. And you got to let that shit go because it is stagnating you. And it is depleting your resources. And it is depleting your energy. Alright? I feel like this situation, it is getting in the way of your work it's getting in the way of your money i feel like you don't even go to work with the same energy that you really could be having because you are giving too much time and too much energy to something that has no value in your life and that is depleting and is plummishing everything that you are trying to hold on to whatever little bit of stuff that you do have that you know is anything of value to you this person is like literally like depleting every all of your resources all of your energy, all of your happiness, anything that holds true to you. And you need to learn to let that shit go. All right. You were successful on your own, you know, but the sun is setting on that. Because like I'm trying to tell you, this person is depleting your resources. You see that and you see this person is standing out there at the moon. And what is right out there at the moon? That damn tower. Okay. Out there at the goddamn moon. And then she got a bird. And then you see it's a bird being sent to someone out there at the tower. So maybe this is the moon communicating to you and this person that is creating all of this chaos and, and foolishness in your life. Listen. Y'all better figure out and use your intuition to get shit together. Because you see this tower here in the background. You see that moon right there in the background. This is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse that is trying to tell you that, you know, you're not having any financial success. You're not having, you know, true success and abundance right now in your life. An abrupt change is coming. You got to use your intuition. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's messages and there's signs all over the place why things are not going in your favor in your life. You have to let go of shit that is not serving you anymore. You have to let go of this shit and it's time to use your power and your energy to manifest change in your life, baby. You have to. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's time for this shit to end. And there's the death card. It is time for this shit to end. It is time for endings. For new beginnings to come. Some things need to end. Do you understand? In order for you to have full emotional fulfillment. This is the 10. That also shows an ending. That death had to come. In order for you to have full emotional fulfillment. And new success and love. And like I told you. New love. A new love where you're going to be acknowledged, where you're going to be successful, with your real soulmate, where it's going to be a solid beginning in love. It is going to happen, but you have to end this situation with this person from the past. Sagittarius, I love you. I got to go pick my charm up. <laughs> I love you, and I need to charge my camcorder. Listen, you guys, please let go. Please let go. You are wondering... If this was a bad mistake, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Y'all wake up. Y'all wake up, please. Stop allowing this person to play with your pride and to play with your damn ego. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is playing with you like you fucking stupid. And they're trying to get away with any fucking thing as long as it suits them. And then, you know, they making off. Use your head, okay? Don't let love make a fool of you. This person is not your soulmate. Just because they give you a little bit of attention right now don't mean shit. This motherfucker is still the same person. I'm trying to use a little bit of consciousness. Like, no, you know, we were not together for a minute. And, you know, I, I got myself together. And now I'm touched. Fuck that nigga. Get this bitch out of your fucking life. I got y'all. Y'all take it easy.